Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Kitten's Corner Special Edition. We are going to build the the Emma Kit from Secret Bop. I named her Nevaeh, which is heaven backwards. If you weren't, if you did not know that, will not do a baby of the the video this time, just simply because she is going to be the focal point and the baby of the video. I'm going to jump right into it. I'm very excited. I hope everyone's doing great today. I did my mental checklist. Now we're going to do a out loud checklist to make sure that before we get started, we have everything we need to make this little one come to life. All right. We have magnets for her pacifier. We have glue. We have scissors. We have her. I have a blanket. I'm going to spread out so as I put her together, we can lay her on her blanket. Um, I, I realized when I was going through my inventory, I have plenty of clothes and I've officially, finally used most of my blankets. So that's kind of cool. That's a cool problem to have. That means that I'm selling enough of the dolls and having to wrap them in blankets that I need to get more. And I found this super super soft like I want to roll in it and it was only five dollars at the uh, dollar general dollar general you know I bounce around okay so um okay I'm gonna move some stuff around when, when I turn around I'm gonna be laying stuff down when I are bringing stuff to me I have stuff kind of staged all around bear with me on that point we do have glass beads we have stockings we have her an outfit to put on because as you know I'm in the habit of dressing them as I build them and I'm going to put her where when I lay her lay her down in between you can actually still kind of peek over at the parts that we're not working on okay so the first thing we're going to do first thing is we're going to get a little well of this varnish and go ahead and do her nails and her lips simply because I want them to dry so that when we put her magnifier in we don't have to worry about her nothing sticking the varnish dries like really fast so but it also it, it dries fast so we're not too worried about it at the same time for it to cure it does take about about two two to three hours for it to like they say legitimately cure okay so first i'm gonna reach over here and get her head i actually want her head to go first and the reason she looks like spider woman or something is because i'm actually training her eyelashes and i root it last I always root eyelashes last I smooth them up like that to see where i need to add more hair or if i want to add more hair she does have a thinner side on this side, but I think it gives her personality. I don't know. I, mean, like, I don't know if you can't see it in person, but it's not as thin as it kind of looks on the cam. So trust, just trust me on that. So we have our varnish. It, this is the high gloss varnish, which means her lips are going to be very shiny. You do not need a heap of it. You can put a second coat, and because we're not, this is an air dry varnish, we do not have to come back and like repaint it or what have you. Or, nor we do we have to heat set it. That's why for me it's the last step. Most people would have already had it done. I think it, like, since it is the last step to kind of like bring her alive, I always do my last. So make sure we have nothing dripping i have a doll now that looks like she has a teardrop we don't want to make <laughs> this doll doesn't have to have to cry about it so if she has shiny lips now shiny all right we don't have to paint her chest plate doesn't have anything that needs varnishing so we go to her hands and paint her little nails and they're going to have, of course, plenty of time to dry while we focus on other parts of this endeavor. And then after, of course, we put her together, she can, what I like to call, rest and just sit and cure her nails and stuff. 
But I guarantee you, before we get to her, I'll put money on it if you want. But I guarantee you, before we get to her, her face again, her her um face will be dry. I'm trying to figure out how to place this down so that because her thumb is kind of at an awkward angle. Well, now you're making this difficult. Okay, so we'll do that, and we'll come back. And I think her leg just fell on the floor. Okay, casualty number one, but at least it wasn't the part I just painted. So we're gonna paint all her little limbs. We'll get the one and now because I have the first one painted, we can kind of crisscross them. So she's doing what we do at the um beauty parlor, you know, we at the nail place. We kind of hold our hands all awkward till we're sure. And if you're like me, five hours later, you're still kind of holding them awkward and looking at the nails like this is unreal. Like, this is really my nails, you know. <laughs> Alrighty. Little feet are going to do better. I'm not really sure. I don't know why I'm like devastated about her hands not doing what I want it to do. And while I'm doing that, just to catch you up, I do have a custom that's being made. I have not heat set the custom. It's going to be a little girl, and I'm going to heat set her, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but I have not because I wanted to make sure her paint was true, and it is. I'm looking at it right now, and I almost varnished her lips and was like, hold up, kid. You, ain't, uh, <laughs> you haven't heat set it yet, so yeah, so no, 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 no lips for the for the little one. I was gonna take the liberty. Well, I might still show you her face. Okay, so we clean off our brush, cleaned off our palette. That part is done, so we will get that out of the way. You know my rules. My rule when I'm assembling them is to, as you're putting them together, go ahead and start breaking stuff down, putting it out the way. It gives your mind, for me, it gives my mind a sense of, okay, that that's a checkpoint. The next thing we need to do is her eyelashes. We need to clip her eyelashes, guys. And the reason, um, they're like I said, they're slipped back. I'm really jazzed about the hair because I didn't realize I got the hair like I usually get, and I should have known by the price that the wetter it is, the more wavier it gets. So she started off with semi-wavy hair, and now it's just little curls bursting everywhere in her head, which is awesome, which means you're going to be able to, if you choose to get this little one, to do amazing things with her head. But the one of the things I wanted to point out, okay, so basically all we do, and I use her eyebrows as my guide, so basically all I'm doing is clipping it so that it lands right above her eyebrows. So like right like the so it's going to give her the illusion of long long pretty full lashes. But um yeah, at least make sure your scissors are sharp and if you cut them right above the eyelashes if I can do it right above the eyelashes also this hair lands lays really well so I'm super excited about that so because a lot of the, the styles now for little girls is to have that edge out part in the front you're gonna be able to achieve that with this doll with just some water and as you see how well her lashes lay her hair is gonna lay the same way Okay, she got one more little strand that's actually wiggling with me instead of coming loose enough for me to snip. Okay, now we're going to take our hand and we're going to lift up the hair we just cut. And voila! No, they are a lot along right now. So now, now you can come back. I will come back rather and trim them down. Because what you don't want is super lash, like unnatural looking lashes on this little girl. 
Who would not have went and got her lashes done. So, what would be pretty for uh, an adult woman is not going to be pretty on her. It looks kind of odd on her. So, yeah. We're not aiming for odd. We're aiming for natural. And we do want them to fall. That's a little bit better. Matter of fact, that's a lot of better. So, what, because what's going to happen is they're going to relax down also as well. We'll go one more. I like a little bit. A little bit shorter. Well, they're going to relax down. And it's going to look natural. Like right now, they're still kind of trying upwards. Let's see if I can get her close enough for you to see how pretty those look. Alright, now we're going to do that again for her other set of lashes. Same concept. Cut them right above the eyebrow at first and then come back with the scissors and then you can tr trim them without uh, oh man I cut them too short which is used to be my downfall I used to try to cut like gauge with my eyes my incredibly I really can't see eyes <laughs> how low to cut my eyelashes and I uh, was pretty much always wrong so we got our little eyelashes done. Exciting. Exciting for me. Lashes a little bit shorter. Pay attention to where you stuck the other one. You don't want to go past that. And now you got to go back and cut the other ones if you do. So make them kind of even. Remember what I said. And if you didn't hear me, I'll say it again. They're going to relax down. Which means they're not going to point straight, straight up, but they are curled upwards. And so they're going to come, like, lift off her face a little bit more. And they will look as natural as can be. And as you can see, now she has her lashes. I may come back and thicken it up. I don't know. I kind of like them, guys. I mean, it gives her a little personality. Okay, so now we're going to put her down again she has on her she has her lashes done and she has her lips done so we are moving right along I have decided to make her legs a pound each so I have my handy dandy very extremely heavy box of glass beads and we are going to put a pound in each leg um, the reason I'm making her a touch heavier is because I, I feel like the realism comes in her weight, and I feel like she would not be, she's got chunky thighs, so I don't see her, like, being, like, a light little, I can spin her around on one hand, baby, I don't see her being, like, help me Jesus, this child is too heavy. But at the same time, I don't see her being um, really little. So uh, I'm, if I'm gauging correctly, these actually should go up because she has really big, thick legs. It should, this one pound should go up to her knee or almost to her knee. Which is where I like to, to, to fill my babies up to their knee. So that works for everybody. So I'm do the burping thing. You know, we burp it. Make sure we get beads in the toes. And that's where the vinyl really shows its character. Like as if it's really truly soft. Or if it's hard and everything. Because if it's a truly soft, really good vinyl. It's going to still, her toes and stuff are still bending. Even though they're full of glass beads. And that's something I found out. Which is the other reason why the whole kit, even though it's pretty and cute. And I really got to go back and revisit her was a disappointment she's really hard and she's artificial doll hard to me so as much as um i'm excited about her i'm not because of how hard she is so i may i may kind of have to unfortunately sell her at a really kind of insultingly low price more than not less than what I paid for, of course, because I got to at least count my losses, but I'm not 
seeing her. I'll see. I mean, the paint job is good. Let me say that the paint is good. She took the paint. The paint took pretty well. She's got veins, molding, and everything else. What's bombing me out is that she has her. She's kind of hardish, and she's so tiny that her hardishness makes her look like you took a store-bought doll and bought it. Even when I was looking at her pictures. It, and she was laying next to um, the quote unquote overseas doll. It's like, oh my gosh, she really does look like a, like a manufactured doll that I'm just kind of working on. So, that I mean, that's my opinion. Of course, I've seen her painted. I guess that was her because my artwork and their artwork look nothing alike. So, I, if, I don't know if it's a reflection of the artist or a reflection of the reflection of the um of the kit and I am really concerned guys because I really think that this thing is going to die on me so what I'm going to do and I said I wasn't going to do is I'm going to go get the charger and an adapter and plug it up so that <laughs> we don't die mid video because I've already got some really good parts saved, so bear with me. It said I had an hour and a half. Now it's saying I only have 49 minutes, which means it's ticking right along. I've only been in doing this for, for 16 minutes, so bear with me. I'm going to go get the charger for this um, little thing, and then we'll hop right back on it. Intermission. Intermission. intermission and I am glad I did because I did forget the water bottle I, <laughs> I walked right past it as I was getting the cord and I was like crud I need that so now I have the charger plugging she up and you carefully reach around you around the world letting the cord and stuff drop behind the dresser I'm not at a dresser, I'm sorry, I'm at a desk. So then the cord dropped behind the desk and plugging it up. Boom. She's charging. She's charging. We are happy. Woo. I look like I ran a marathon. <laughs> okay, I did. But I am she is charging now. So let's see what it tells me. Uh, 32 percent 54 minutes till fully charged awesome okay now we can keep going without worrying about dying because <laughs> that would suck all right back to what we were doing we were filling up the limbs so now we have our water bottle that's going to pay a, a key point because I'm going to sh show you that you don't have to put gel or nothing in this little one's head to get the swoopy doop look that everybody's wearing now with the edges or what have you so, because her hair, as you saw with her eyelashes, lays really great. And the only thing that was in her hair is water. And when I say it lays really great, I did her lashes um, night before last. So, they, it sat in that same spot for over, over, well over almost 48 hours. So, if you just got to have... Um, like swoops on your little one and you're i'm not gonna draw them in and here's my reason for not drawing them in 
is because, and I've seen them and they look awesome, when that style finally goes out, you got all these dolls with edges that are drawn in and swooped down and beautif beautifully done most times. Some of them, I, they look kind of forced to me. I am not a big fan of, also, I'm not a big fan of um, putting paint hair on dolls on top of the real hair. Because, when what if I want to move that hair? It's not going to move because it's like painted on that way. So, um, that's my, but see, that's personal opinion. I don't, I'm not going to knock anyone in the head for loving the painted part of their doll or what have you. So now we have both our little hams, our stuff, and now for remember if you went remember my other video where I said oh my god they didn't put a body in there, and then I found out the body was actually this very pretty design designer looks like a um, set of bloomers. Well, this is actually her body, guys, and now upside this is actually her body and it's cute so if you take pictures of her with just this on people are going to say oh that is so cute the little underwear is so cute but it's the downside is these are permanently on her so like um if you trying to um, i guess it's really no downside because it's basically just a cute design but i was like what if you want to put bloomers on her or not put anything on her bottom half she's always now you're forced to because she's unless she's going to be wearing blue all the time because that's what she has on but they are adorable and functional because they actually serve a purpose okay so we're going to hook her little leggings on get that done we're going to get that done Again, I hope everyone is doing well. I finally kind of recovered from that second shot. Um, it really kind of did a number on me. I know for some people, it was, they were fine and was springing and back at work and life went on. For me, it was, I was so sore and just extra tired. Like, I couldn't get enough rest. Um, and, like, working on top of it probably was not helpful. But when I say I couldn't get enough rest, it was like I felt tired all the time. So that was my downside, but I do have both my shots, and I'm happy about doing it because that's something that's out of the way. Um, I'm trying to decide where I want to tie this little legging. I'm going to tie them with a bow, like a little, like, because it's, it's strings. I might come back and do zip ties. We'll see. But I need to make sure that when I tie her little legs on that they're where they need to be. And you know I like to dress them. So I have her out a little outfit. So we're going to be dressing as we put together as much as we can. Because remember we got to go in reverse on this doll because her head. We got to put her head on her body. Now that's the other cool thing about this little thing. Because the bloomers stops where her waist begins. And so it's the illusion again of her wearing bloomers, but it's also like that's it. There is no full body going underneath anything. Like remember the other one, we stuffed the whole body and then we kind of wrapped the little piece around it. Well, in this case, like I said, now doesn't it look like she's already dressed? <laughs> that's cute. Okay, so what we can do like this, her bottom part is going to be super easy to do because. She's this wide open, so we're gonna um we're gonna sit her on our lap here for a minute. So I can um, I don't know I get so excited at this point because I can feel her and um you know she feels really good. So we got her straddled on me so I can kind of get the cotton in. Now I just thought about something very serious. I'm gonna have to leave her kind of open, unlike. This is different. This is going to be really different because I can't close this until I actually get her um, bottom top part completely done. So we're gonna but we're gonna get everything we can get done on this part, and then we'll come back. We lace that. 
unlike with the long body, you can actually kind of spread the cotton out because it's like a little bow. And we're going to sit her down again. Let's see if she'll sit. I don't think she's going to sit. I might have to redo her legs if I can't get her to sit. Hmm. This is good things to catch while you are building. I think I have one of her legs in the wrong spot as compared to the other leg. Alright, so what we're going to hope is that when I get her together, and I say hope because I'm not exactly sure, this is again a, a new for me, a first for me, rather, because I've never done a, um, a full, like the whole upper torso. I failed. I have done an upper torso doll. The Kenzie kit was an upper torso doll. I don't know if you remember her from Bountiful Baby, the little crawler. She was an upper torso doll. Now, the difference between this one and the Kenzie kit is that the Kenzie kit came with the full body. And you laid the upper torso over her body. And you connect. There was no connector. She wasn't ball jointed or nothing. She just. You just connect it. You connected her limbs just as you regular, regularly do it. But before you did it, you had to go ahead and put her little torso on. So we're not looking for stockings this time. I already was a good girl and had everything I needed this time. So we do the what I do. So I put the stocking like on my hand, just like I'm gonna put them on and wrap the. Ha ha! Now and we shake. No, 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 what they say, no fuss, no muss. No fuss, no muss. Dying, she, well, a little bitty bit. We got some strays here that don't want to uh, operate, operate with me. But other than that, boom, she is finished. We have a whole stocking full of glass beads. And we're going to tie up, of course. Tied in a knot. Make sure it's tight, tight. And I used to, I have, I don't know, weird coincidence that it's like a different skin tone kind of color. I figured that it would be the least likely of the stockings to get bought. <laughs> you welcome, ladies. <laughs> so, we're going to put, so it wouldn't hurt if it's sitting inside of a doll. Basically, that's what I'm saying. That's sarcasm because I'm pretty sure those stockings are still full, full born in use because um, I know a lot of ladies that actually use like nude colors and stuff, and that's their go-to. So for those on, sorry, but you know, that's the one I grabbed. They had. They also had um, white and all the other colors. You know, well, I went to the regular star for now. So we are stuffing her bottom part as good as we can stuff it. We can be really generous with it because we don't have to worry about it. We can. We're actually getting a visual of how it would look in clothes because her bottom part is technically clothes for her. So that's kind of cool. And me and this, this stuffing I'm going to fight. I'm trying to figure out where to put it so I can stop having to reach around the world for it. And we can get as generous as we want. But we need to make sure that we can press down and close it around her body. So, we're going to leave it there. And I really do think I'm going to have to adjust one of her legs. I think it is. I'm going to have to turn her legs more forward, I think. I don't think she's going to sit up like that. So I'm going to see if I can do it now. And if I can't, we'll come, we'll re, we will revisit it. We will revisit it. Definitely revisit it. Okay, okay. All right. And when I was saying that, like her legs were facing towards, like, pointing downward. And she wasn't sitting. She was just, like, laying, like, and um that's the same problem i had with the emmy kit um she wasn't laying she wasn't sitting anymore she was laying 
And what ha happened? What ha happened was the cotton hat gave. But now I think you can see it if I move myself out of the way. She's actually sitting over there. And she looks weird sitting over there without no whole bottom, without no whole top part. Look like we chopped her in half. Okay, guys. So now we're going to work on putting her upper torso together. And I would like to say thank you to the people who shipped it. Um, Sigrid Bonka, whoever, whoever came up with the lovely idea, absolutely stunningly lovely idea, to give you everything you need to put this little one together. I actually have instructions, guys. I can't mess this up. Knock on wood, I probably can, but we're going to try not to. <laughs> okay, we have instructions this time. We also this time have a the hook that actually comes supposed to come came with the other one and didn't now we have to pause at this point and put our baby finish putting our baby together all right when i say pause it is something i didn't do because it's something i wanted to kind of show y'all on cam because i think i did did do this the last time we're going to put her glue in and her hair and now I'm realizing I don't have my big gross out glue brush and I know exactly where it's sitting so intermission number two. all right I'll be right back again <laughs> fire while I was over that way because it's a little further on the bed so I got her very very cute little pacifier with a um, panda bear panda um it came with a uh, box opening just the stuff and I wanted to get an idea I'm always constantly on the hunt for good box openings because I want to make sure that mine are great so I always kidnap other people's ideas. And from that one, she actually did, I got two bottles of uh, pre-done milk. No, I got one milk, one orange juice looking thing. I got um, a pair of booties, a pair of, oh gosh, um, an outfit, the booties, a lovey, a blankie, a little, very light, but it's still a blankie. And I believe that was it, but that was actually a good bit of stuff. So first thing we're gonna do is get her hair out the way so that we can kind of work with her better. So you know, any excuse to open bowls, any excuse to open these bowls will do. And we have to do it very gently because we're actually about to glue her hair. So we need to make sure that we are not rough with it because her hair is technically not isn't there good like I could probably hold her by her hair and it won't slide out in my hand and I can even pull it together like I'm doing now but for the next few days while this glue is setting and doing its thing I would I, that's why I take my time with putting them on because the time they get to them I want to make sure all of that all the curing and everything else is done so to ensure that they're getting the doll and it's not gonna slide out their hands slide in their hands rather I go ahead and let it sit the pacifier fell y'all okay the first thing you need to do first thing you need to do is get your little magnet I have my magnet set I told you I was together this time so I got a one little magnet left in this pack so we'll use it and trick I learned from a reborn artist um how to get the magnet perfect you put the magnet put the pacifier to their mouth and even though to me it looks wet it's not put the pacifier to their mouth where you want it 
and you drop the magnet in. The magnet clicks and boom! Perfection. Then, if it's not exactly where you want it, this is the time to adjust it. So, while, and so while she's holding her magnet, we will get the glue ready. Uh, step number two for the head process. All right. Now, point of doing the magnet first. Because, one, the glue, you can glue everything in one shot. And that's <laughs> literally the main point of that. You can glue everything in one shot. And you can watch the magnet and make sure that the magnet is not moving around. Um, which you can't do. Now you need to make sure that this is all done before you put cotton or anything else in your baby's head. Now, what I was explaining to my mom is that I do not have to put like weight in her head because like just like the other doll, the Gabriella doll, her head is mounted and like mounted on the chest plate and it's not going to flop because she's supposed to have the image of an older kid anyway. So now we're going to figure out how to get to, towards that magnet. Because we got to get that glue to that magnet. So we are maneuvering in her head. We got to get a generous amount down there. We are gluing everything into place. Her eyes are kind of loose in the back. Like, not when I, when I say loose in the back. There, there was a... A slit put in the back for her eyes so in her head rather for her eyes in the back of her eyes she can kind of drop her eyes in that way I did not have to use that because I cheat with my dolls and put their eyes in straight out of the oven and that the vinyl is so pliable then that her eyes slid right on it no problem so that's my little tricky trick pretty sure a lot of artists do that so um, we are rolling in glue we are probably getting very high right now but <laughs> this glue is really strong guys this is something you should be doing in a ventilated area but I use E20 I'm sorry E6000 E6000 is a rubber glue it is like a sealant for stuff that you have to put liquid in. Why is that important? Why that you would use such such a product on your dolls? Because people like to wash their dolls' hair, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think we have enough in there. I have a half a bottle in there. I don't, man, that's a whole lot of glue. So the first thing we do is we're gonna get gross, and I'm gonna go in and make sure there's glue on that magnet. To me, there's not a lot of glue on that magnet. But we need to make sure that the glue actually went to the magnet. That's the first thing we need to do. It didn't, so uh, we need to get the glue back out. It didn't go where we needed to go, so we got to get it going where we needed to go. Um, it kind of rolled down her chin and stopped. We need it to aim towards her, her, her cheeks where her pacifier is. Alright. So, I put a poodle, a poodle, I put a puddle of glue on a spot and I'm going to take my finger again. I have just glued my hair. <laughs> okay, we're going to take the puddle of glue and move it around move it to her her little cheeky bones or her pacifiers there we go now there's glue where her pacifiers generous generous okay we're gonna move it up some that's the magnet actually slid this is why it's very important that you do this step uh, take your time no rushing no rushing now people use the brush. I like to use my finger because I like to ensure that the glue actually got where I need it to go. 
because it's a waste of time if it doesn't. I need glue all up in this kid's head. Like, for real. Like, seriously. I need glue everywhere. Because when you're combing her hair, you're going to be like, there's no glue. Slid right out. And then I'm going to have to be like, well, bring her, send her back. I'll re-glue it for free. Re-root it and glue it for free. So to avoid all that, we make sure there's glue everywhere we need there to be glue. I am going to have to go wash my hands. That's the point of using the brush. But I'm glad I didn't use the brush because I really don't feel glue where I need it to be. And I wouldn't have been able to tell that by the, by the brush. Because what it would have did, what it would have rubbed where there was a lot of glue. And I would assume that was everywhere. So, we're being kind of gross right now, but it's the purpose to move the grossness. We need to make sure that the glue is where the glue needs to be. So as you can see, you can see my finger moving on the inside. It is worth it. It's gross, but it is so worth it to go on ahead and get your hand, get your hands a little dirty. Get in there. Get your butt in there. Get in there. Get by her eyes. Everything. Everything. So now, that's gross. Okay, check the pacifier one more time. Make sure the pacifier is where she would have a pacifier. Now again, anyone who knows me knows that I don't put pacifiers in my bigger babies. Because I feel like at that age, they would not. You would not be trying to give the baby a pacifier. However, I am very aware that most people love the way they look on them. So, instead of having to come back and do it, especially with this type of baby, with this type of doll, it is just it makes so much more sense to go on ahead and get that pacifier in there. Alright, so now we got a pacifier in there. We are purposely taking our time. This glue is not stuck on me, because it's, it's a rubber glue. So it's literally rolling off my fingers, which is cool. Now... You might be concerned about it, but let me explain to you something. I've used this to fix things in my house. And I was concerned too. Till I came back to check on the object I was fixing. And not only had it held held it, but it was hard, like rock hard. Which means so it cures and it gets rock hard. So if it's spread out so since we know when it cures it gets rock hard we need to make sure that when it's spread out that it is spread out enough to catch all the hairs because it'll be like literally plastering her hair on the inside or the doll's hair on the inside not to just keep it exclusively to her now we're going to put a little she has a little bit of glue in her hair and I'm not sure. I know exactly how she got it. I was going to say I'm not sure how she got it there, but I do know. I know how she got it there. That um, will comb out. We'll wash this out. I'm trying to get most of it out because just in case it wants to act funny. I have a little ball spot in the back because I couldn't get the glue out. Um, make her hair. Get her hair out the way, which is the point of pinning it up. Like I said, we're not going to weigh her head, but we are going to put cotton in her hair. In her head. If I can talk. <laughs> we're going to put cotton in her head. Because we want when the owner squishes her cheeks. You know, it doesn't just totally give because there's nothing in there. Um, we would do the same for her body. Not in an exclusive, like, like a whole lot. But we will put some cotton in her body too. Uh, we're watching the cotton, making sure that the cotton does not um, move anything. I don't care about it getting tangled in the hair. This actually to me is insurance because if it's tangled in the hair then it can't, the hair can't get out. Um, I'm checking her cheeks guys because right now the glue kind of straight and I really don't know how the glue got on her face. But because we know what the glue will do, we need to make sure we get that off while it's still curing. It just feels to me just like how Elmer's glue, if you ever 
<laughs> played with Elmer's glue and got some on your fingers and kind of rolled it around in a little ball. That's what the glue feels like right now. Like Elmer's glue, like it's, I'm gonna get hard, but not right now. I feel so, has a more of a rubbery texture. So this is the texture you wanna deal with if you gotta remove it or what have you. And her face is shaped kind of oblong, so I have to kind of reach in there and force cotton to go where I want it to go. Here, cause her face is like long in the front. Is I guess that's it. But as long as she got the long fist, man, we want to make sure that her cheeks are full. So we need to push the cotton towards her cheekbones. See how how it's I'm able to do that we don't want to do that we don't want the cheeks to give so we're gonna put some more cotton in now remember that happened last time we put too much and we had to pull some out but that's fine we, we can pull it from the bottom but we need to get the cheeks full so that her face doesn't do a give on us I'm gonna tell you, them cheeks are like tight. <laughs> Alright, I think one more. Like, they're, they're really loose. That's what I should say. They're not tight. I wish they were tight. I want them tight. But, not. Okay, I have hair trying to go in the hole, even though I have her hair in bows. So, you know, it's kind of a casualty of war here. So, we're gonna keep stuffing her head till we get. The consistency on her face that we would like that is a shelf term <laughs> I am a chef so that's the term that I'm choosing to use okay I have a lot of her hair trying to go in this hole instead of staying on her head okay Whew. me too girl she look tired and I do too I feel tired we got work on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Working on it. Oh. All right, you just gonna have to have some soft cheeks. Smishy, smishy. All right. Okay. So, cause we do need to make sure we have room. Now we can lean towards our instruction manual. The instruction manual says to unhook the head connector by using the assembling tool. So first, we need to unhook. Find the head connector. <laughs> then we need to unhook the head connector using the assembling tool, which I am not going to assume they're talking about this hook. So you unhook it and we're going to let it go. And push the metal plate and the cardboard up into the head. So, ba -da -da -ba, this part, just like the last time. But unlike the last time, her vinyl underneath there is like super soft. So this is going to be like money. Boom. Already done. I wish to God the first one was this easy. Then put the, the stitch the, through the tube. So slide this through the tube. Just like the other lady did hook the hooky hook pull put the pull it through pulling it through and and unhook it <laughs> boom her head piece is hooked oh look we don't hook it hook it through the body put the hook to oh they kind of skipped the step they did okay they skipped step. <laughs> I'm so frustrated right now. Don't skip steps. Okay. Well, we have to unhook her. 
and put all this stuff on the body, my door. So now we gotta go slide the tube through, through the whole top of her body. <laughs> really, guys? Okay, so, all right. I mean, I guess I should hush because I could have came with no instructions like the last one did, and I could be struggling right now trying to figure out how to do it, so I'm gonna hush and finish doing this doll the right way. So we gotta pull it through all of this and then let go. Let go. Alright, now her head is hooked onto her body. Ta da! And it's on there pretty good. And she got the pacifier. And simply because we wanna make sure that her pacifier is where it needs to stay, we're gonna put her down and do that. So now we've got this part. Now we have to unhook the arm connectors. Like this is like so much better with instruction, guys. You have no idea. I have dreaded this since I got her because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. This is kind of I'm still dreading because I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, first we're gonna unhook it. I like how they say. Okay. I guess we're looking for a hook. I don't see a hook. Oh, I see a hook. Unhook the arm connector. Oh! Okay, and push the arm's plastic tube. Push the tube through the body? Why wouldn't we just slide it through the whole little thing? Do we want it on the outside? I'm so confused. Okay, we do. We want to string it through the body. So we gotta take these little rubbery things off. And we got to literally, this is the tube. We literally have to string it through her arms. Sorry, baby. I was rooting for you. And I was like, that's kind of much, but that's what they want done. Okay, so we got it in one. Hey. Kind of cruel and unusual, huh? <laughs> and we're going to push it through the other side, I guess. As soon as I find the other side. I can't find it. I don't understand this part. Is it really going to fit through both of those? I guess it is. Alright. Alrighty then, if you say so. Alright. Oh, come on. Push, baby, push. It's always something that's like giving birth. Okay, so first we gotta push this a little further over. I'm gonna push it through. Are you serious right now? Cause, bro, this is kinda hard. Uh, I'm going in, I'm gonna cheat. And push it on the inside. I'm pretty sure that's kinda what they assume you would do. It is not pushing in though. That's my problem. It's not pushing through rather. Okay. And then when I push it through, it went all the way through. Are you serious right now? Okay, so what we're gonna do is push it in the other way. It literally popped back out. So we're going to push it the other way and see if we can. Now that we've compromised that side and it's open. If we can't push this side in and then push it through the other way. Alright. Alright. I don't know if it's that well. But I'm assuming I've just dropped one of the pieces you needed. I'm assuming that if I can push get that rubber used to being open, <laughs> I can push it through the other way. I'm like looking in my hand is like nowhere like this little plastic piece or wood piece is nowhere near the other side. They really want the string through. Mm. Hold on. You're not going to be defeated. Push through to the upper part from one side to the other. That's exactly what they want us to do. 
okay, so that's exactly what we got to do. That's what they want, that's what we're doing. Because uh, the goal is to push the first part in without, push the second part in without pulling the first part out. So that's what we got to do. I swear, y'all should have made this tube a touch bigger. I don't understand why y'all didn't, because I needed to fit this doll. But still. really interesting I'm like wow uh, me and you both girl cause she looking like really and I'm looking like feeling like really okay so now we have to get her arms and we have to string our little connectors inside of her arms that's where it gets really tricky 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 guys so as if that other part wasn't but <laughs> this is her actually get some more tricky and shove that in there get in there i'm kind of getting better at this part because i'm not scared of messing anything up so i'm not being i'm as rough as i need to be because at first i wasn't i was like oh it's gonna it's gonna hurt and i was like hold up it's a ball it's not gonna hurt get over it this the one i was thinking i may have to have open the arm a little more Put it in the wrong arm. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. The piece is down in there. It won't come out. What the hell, girl? You gotta be kidding. This is the kind of stuff that I take live just so that, you know, I, you, what they say, you can't fake it. But yeah, like the hook went down in her arm. Pretty sure this hasn't happened before. Uh, now I have to find it to unhook it. What did I do? Um, I need to tell you the hook is literally at an angle that I can't get out. Double is defeated because if I got it in there, it's coming out. Not the wrong side. I do not believe this right now. Like, why did you fall in there? Really? You got so close to me doing this right now. Like, The whole hook is in there. I got it. No way. Y'all not gonna believe this. The whole piece just dis disassembled in her arm. Like the whole hook just unhooked in her arm. So now I have to figure out how to get this whole plastic piece up so I can string it back through. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. You were doing so good. Are you serious? Like I literally just lost the whole back end of the doll arm piece. We cannot assemble her without it. And it is disassembled in her arm right now. I 
going to have to get it out to go any further. I would say why me, but why not me? So, you know, there's that. I have to carefully do it because if I break it, I'm screwed. Um, it's right there. I might have to get some pliers and pull it through or something. I don't understand what's caught or not caught. What's not pushing through. Okay. So this happened. That's what I figured. The little piece in the middle is strung through. Now I have one more little piece I have to dig out of this doll. To be able to assemble her. Which, guys, I'm kind of glad that happened. But guess what? It wouldn't have happened if I had did the next step that I should have taken anyway. I didn't stuff her limbs. Oh, man. Thank you, mistake. And it took me all this time getting it out and to figure out why it happened. But thank God it did. Boom! We are so lucky it happened because now I can uh, sim put some glass beads in her arms. What was I going to do? I was really about to mess up here, so... And I was like, well, why did this not happen the first time? Why didn't it fall in? Oh, that's right. Her limbs were full of glass beads. And there was nowhere for that little piece to go. Remember, we even fought to get the piece in there because it was stuffed. So, you must, you cannot skip a step on this doll, apparently. It's a good thing. You can't skip a step because we would have really messed up. And we would have missed a very invaluable step that we would have had caught the dickens. We would have to have dissembled her completely to fix the step that we missed. So, yay, fate. So we're going to fill up her limbs. Let's say everything happens for a reason. Okay, yes. It was a very good reason. I appreciate fate. Go fate. You're fine. You're the best. Fate was kind this time. But we really did almost mess up. Like, and it would have been me trying to catch the diggings again to disassemble her to do this part right here mad at myself because I went on ahead and put her I was so excited about how fast we put her together <laughs> that we really almost screwed up that's kind of scary like we literally almost screwed up on her on a very crucial part of her okay so I'm trying to split this in half which is all I think it's actually going to need or take I'm going to give her a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Shake everything off. And put some stuff in there. Now, I'm really trying to figure out, we got the long one on, where they have the long one at and the short one at. So the short one is where I put it. Now, here's the irony, guys. It says the last step on this is don't forget to stuff the vinyl parts before fill before some. That's literally. <laughs> most important step that you can't do after you assemble it 
is the last thing you say, hey, yo, don't forget to stuff it. Don't forget to put your glass bees in. <laughs> ah, that's kind of funny. That's really actually that's hysterical. But hey, it's all good. Now, my other question is the other side is really small. The hole is like super small. And I'm wondering, do y'all expect me to leave that hole that small? I really doing. So I have the right I have it on the right side. I just got to um re restring it and then put it back on, put it back together. But and it won't fall because now they're stuffing. Which they were like, Oh yeah, by the way, don't forget to stuff your baby. Thanks instructions. Oh, it says, have fun with your doll. Sincerely, Sigrid Rob. So, thanks, Sigrid, <laughs> for making that the last thing you say. Because if I were writing the instruction, it would have been the first thing. Yo, make sure you stuff that baby before you get started on the assembling because you're going to catch it. I mean, like, like I said, also the reality is if, if the stuffing was there, it would not have fell through. It would have just sat there. So, it's key essential to the assembling of the doll. So, uh, let me make the mistakes for y'all. I've made that mistake. You must stuff this doll first. The limbs first before you start assembling her. Because, you, if you don't, you're going to catch it trying to put these little parts on. Okay, now I got to try to find all the little parts. But for some reason, I'm not laying on this. I'm missing one. I'm missing the little metal piece. Okay. So now we have to pause and find the metal piece because it's like the most important part of this. I think. It is. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows at this point? That's really weird that it's not sitting right here. This doll is really trying my patience. So. Kind of sad that it's working out this way because I was like really excited about it. Now I'm like, oh gosh, really? Like I can't find this one little piece that if I don't have, I can't assemble this doll. And not to be frustrated and at the same time I'm very frustrated okay I see it it's one little metal piece that it's going to assure that our doll does not come off and the string to hook back through like I said I'm trying not to be frustrated because I'm pretty sure you can hear it in my voice I, I am kind of very frustrated right now um and it's nobody's fault it but my own because I knew better than to try to assemble her without stuffing her. I know those steps that you have to take and I didn't take them. So I'm not too mad. I'm kind of just frustrated right now. But we'll shake it off and keep rolling. And stuff her little piece in. If we can get the piece in now that we've stuffed her. Yes, I know. I know you love your stuffed her. I don't think so though. Because this stuffing gives. And that's kind of what you want. But now we have the hook in. The hook is in guys. Okay. And it feel, even feels better. So, duh on me for not doing this the first time. So, before we even deal with the fact that this little hole is way smaller we're gonna stuff this side I am eventually going to invest in a um, plunger I mean um, funnel <laughs> but not right now so wait but I am going to make this hole a little bigger because I honestly don't think it's supposed to be this little not in, even in the least bit. You 
can actually see like there's a a line that is there like where I think that's where it was supposed to be done but and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna put slits in it instead of cutting it yeah like you can tell like there's a spot where they were supposed to stop but they didn't cut that out the fact is a factory error it was supposed to be bigger than that the hole was actually supposed to be bigger than that and we're not mad we're just going to adjust it and add the bees and a very slow and we don't want the hole too big and they knew that so they was like okay look cut it bigger at your own risk but you do need it bigger so we're going to pour these bees in very carefully and we're going to use this whole rest of this bag which is half of the bag and yes I'm getting quiet because I like to focus when I'm pouring Okay, so this is kind of, oh, I got a whole little corner that we hid back there, so we'll get that poured in. Alright, got that poured in. Now we will scrape it, scrape, scrape. Now I'm so glad I went on ahead and put the, um, plugged it up. We'd have been really messed up. Alright, so now we're going to stuff this side. And I may need to bomb one of the sticks from the painting of the other doll to get that stuff in there. We will. So I'm going to take one of the arm ones, lay it down carefully, and get the stuffing in here. Like I said, I'm trying not to be frustrated. It was a, it was a fix that if I hadn't had it happen, I would have been sitting here with a doll with no stuffing in the limbs I would have been upset about that and really upset because I would have really had to take this doll back apart so it was a 10 minute error that saved me a 30 minute resolution so you know let, they say live and learn and those are kind of like me skipping the basics I always stuff all my limbs first if you've ever seen the video I stuff every limb um, and then assemble it to the body with this not having a body made that step get skipped it's, but it's usually the first step I take um, so now we know and knowing it's half the battle and we keep it pushing so the first thing we have to do the great debate is how much stuff you put in the middle first of all and I, the great debate was do I put another thing of weight in there I'm deciding not to just simply because this is I think a lot of weight um, on her. She right now officially has four pounds of weight on her. And however much the polyfill is adding to it. So I think that she's going to be pretty freaking heavy. So we will give her a, um, give weight her before too long. Okay, so I got a whole thing of cotton in there. <laughs> uh, let's see what she feels like. Good. I might do it. It's already resisting. Like I, we don't want it to resist us because we still got to put the whole other half of the, the assembly kit together. And as you can see, that was a brand new bag. We have ran a good bit of polyfill in her and we have not stuffed her middle. So we will probably end up using the rest of it on her middle. Now, the, the, what most people be like, well, she's um, full vinyl, so you don't really need it. Here's the thing. If you put nothing and someone squeezed them cheeks or something, it's going to just give. And I'm pretty sure they're going to squeeze those cheeks to, to see what you put in the baby, especially if they feel like she's not weighted correctly. So, um, 
you know, those are the risks you take by doing it. But the 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 artist has a right to decide what how they how heavy they want to make the baby. So if you feel comfortable, yeah, I feel comfortable with where she's at. Um, you you as the artist don't have to change a thing. If you like the way it feels, then that's just what it is. Now we're gonna take this part. That's what's missing off the other part. I think. I'm not sure. It looks like it'll hold. But let's pray it holds. Well, because right now I'm kind of like, eh, please hold. What if it backwards? So I like the way that feels, so no. Even if it is backwards, I like the way it feels. Like it's really tight. So we're gonna stuff this in, of course, just like we did the other side. Where it all fits. I do have the rubber piece in there backwards, but it's tight backwards, so unless they're just tucking the heck out this doll's arms or lifting her by her arms. Which I'm gonna put in instructions, do not lift her by her arms. Unless they're just doing this crazy stuff like that. I'm putting this in by pieces. So I'm putting the metal piece in. Now I already put the little cloth rubber piece that was there, and now I'm putting the rubber stopper piece in. Because I think that's the only way you're gonna get it in that little hole. Then I'll flow it out when I get it all in there. I hope. Look, I hope. <laughs> All right. And hopefully it will flow out. Pull it back. I heard it pop. Okay, Mr. Pop. Now, guys, the fun part. What I was dreading, because, you know, all the rest of the stuff I screwed up on, I wasn't dreading because I wasn't thinking of it as a contingency. Contingency means stuff that you think. What happens so you put a plan into place for it. Big word for the day. All right, so now we take our hook that we're gonna have to unbend. So this is not an expensive hook. I probably my knitting one that I use for the other dolls probably the crochet one that I use for the other dolls prop is way thicker than this. This almost is a little bit thicker than a hanger. It's like a really good hanger. So, and that's all you really need. So we're gonna thread this through, right? And look, now we can jump back to the instruction. We're gonna thread the hook back through these little pipes okay I'm gonna put this so you can see it and turn her this way so you can't see her goodies <laughs> no she's atomically correct from the top top part oh don't fall my computer is falling all right okay so we're gonna slide that through and I'm gonna turn her this way so you can see the pipe goes all the way through <laughs> And we are going to, you get to see this on cam. Here we go, guys. We hook it on this side and we pull it through. And we sit it just like that. Now I'm going to place that down just a second to show you. There is a hook right here that that string that I'm pulling through needs to go to. Wish me luck. <laughs> We gotta pull it out enough for that hook and then we have to <laughs> okay we have to pull the hook as far as we can get it hook it to that side and then unhook our hook and it should snap all into place keyword should all right i'm gonna turn it this way here we go wish me luck drum rolls please drums please. like i really mean okay 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 so first so we should pull it <gasps> it's so tight. Okay, um, hmm. We're gonna slide her over. I need to actually see. Navea is looking like, bro. <laughs> and I'm looking like, poor Navea right now. Okay, so we pull, pull, pull. I have it pulled as tight as I can get it. <laughs> oh, it's hurt. And we are gonna. Oh, snap. Where are we supposed to look at? Um, pull, pull, pull. How? Okay. I see the hook. Hook, hook, the hook, hook. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first thing I'm realizing is that 
Yeah, there's a reason the other artist had her husband help because it does feels like a two man feels like a two man job, and it did not hook. And if you do not get the first hook onto that little cloth piece, the little rubber piece that stretches, it's not gonna work. Okay, round two because we're not gonna give up. I'm gonna pull it back through. Pull, pull, pull. Catch the hook. Catch the hook. I'm like pulling this as hard as I can to get enough room to slide the second hook onto it. And I'm not getting any like luck with this. There's a reason I don't fish. Okay, I got the, I got the second hook on. Now I gotta get the first hook out. How do you get the I guess you pull with the second hook? Oh, I got it! You pull with the second hook. <laughs> yes. Okay, so <laughs> long and short of it, you have to pull with the second hook to free the first hook. So once you get the second hook hooked on, yes, yes, guys, yes. Then it says, okay, enjoy your doll. Don't forget to stuff it. That's the end of the instructions. So we can put the instructions in the trash. Dun, da, da, da. We can put the little drying limb for the other baby back on the, what you call it, and the fun begins. Okay, the other reason I didn't dress her, of course, is because, as you can see, I'm relaxing down. We are an hour and a half into this video. Wow. So what I might do is split this video up. So if you, if it's two videos and I'm talking about I might split this video up, that's because I might split this video up. It's extremely long. So, we, she's literally almost together, guys. So you can tell in the relaxation of my voice that um, I'm exhausted. We've been doing this for an hour and a half almost. Okay, I think an hour and a half is going to be the limit. So, I might come back and do a photo video of her. But we will finish assembling her. I'm going to stuff this in here. Stuff, stuff, stuff. And she's really heavy. Top heavy. So, yeah, we're definitely not going to have to put the other weight in. Ooh, don't fall. You saw that, right? You saw she tried to, like, faint on me like she got the Holy Ghost or something. Okay, so first you're gonna stuff her. Stuffing the baby. Uh, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna go outside and do a photo shoot with her and do like I usually do um, as far as coming back with a video of just photos of her because I feel like at this point you better hold that pose, girl. I feel like at this point, I have really, really lost a lot of time, especially with that little error, but thank God for it, because I would have really been blow if I had assembled her and she was not weighted, but I do want to do a video on her hair, of the hair, so we will do a continued video, not today, I'm going to finish assembling her today, but on this video and then perhaps perhaps tomorrow I'll come back and finish doing videos do a video of how I'm gonna do her hair or how you can do her hair rather but and why you don't have to put the gel and stuff on it because the way of her, her hair lays so we're sitting her down onto her bottom part which is already stuck And it literally is poor. I hate cheap material. I'm gonna have to sew that back. That's not acceptable. All right, Mr. Bop, that simply was not acceptable. But her little cloth fleece that is technically her body just ripped. Uh, that's not acceptable at all. Considering this is a almost two hundred dollar kit. Uh, uh no, no sir. Alright. So I know if you, it's not it's not bad, but it's bad. Like it literally just I went to pull the string and it popped. And it popped apart from itself. And so yeah I'ma I'm gonna have to sew that. It's not too bad. But I don't want it to keep going. So we're gonna put a few stitches in it to keep her bottom yeah like it's like not even it's not even sitting on her bottom hmm. 
Let me see. Did I do that? I might have did that. Okay, so we're not gonna. That's why. That's the other point of tying, just to tying the strings and not zip locking the strings. So I'm gonna have to come back and sew that because no ma'am. So the other downside of it not being a real body apparently is that it's like a um, soft cloth. So I'm gonna have to sew it back. So if she's like extremely heavy, they definitely can't be holding her from her upper torso. Um, that's her and her glory. She she said, "All oh, my glory, all like, oh, my glory." So that's her. We're going to get her. I'm going to get her dressed. And we'll come back with another video. But I just wanted to. Y'all saw the madness. She's adorable. And she looks like she's chilling in my lap. And I'm going to take her past y'all so you can see her face. But yeah, we'll do another video. Just a cute little girl. And with her, um, her, her, so I can show you her hair and all that kind of stuff. Alright guys, if you stuck through this one. Thank you so much. And when I say pray for me, pray for me because this was harder than I thought. And but it was still fun and I had a great time. And guys, welcome into the world. Navea, Navea Kinsley. And um yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>